Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Scene Fortress Suicidal. And today I don't really know what we're going to be talking about, but we're going to be talking about something that I'm sure is very important. We haven't really played on Steam Fortress in a while now. It's not my voice. Y'all do voices. Y'all do voices. I'm calling dibs on any handheld fancy Y'all do voices. You're one of those people that does, uh, does voices. I am. I love doing voices. I love, uh, I love putting on an accent. I've been um, having a bit of a uh, you know tippy with it. I love, uh, love putting on a bit of an accent of any kind, any really. See if I can see if I can do an Irish accent. I think I can do an Irish accent. Well, I'm not really sure how to go from here, but I think I can do an Irish accent. I want to learn the uh, the Irish accent really. I'm not very good at it. I don't know. I know uh, some of them. The, the eyes, the eyes in an Irish accent are kind of like oil. You know, like Irish, Irish. But a little, a little bit less like oi, and a little bit more i. You know, so it's kind of like Irish, kind of. You know, Irish. Why well, I'm gonna get you? Oi, get you? You know, kind of that kind of thing. You know. Um. And then otherwise it's kind of like a knockoff uh, British exit. <laughs> Sorry, um, but I've uh, I've been slowly studying it to, to learn how to do it a little bit better because I want to be able to do it. It's another accent that's kind of fun. The only ones that I really got on uh, kind of this one here, which is I've spoken about it before, but I'm not really sure where it's from. It's from wherever I've decided it is. And I can kind of do modifications of it and differences and variations therein, but for the most part, this is uh, this is the accent. It's not really based on anywhere, but it's based on a specific thing that I constructed myself from having heard various people talking with various accents around the world. And this is one that I'm able to put on fairly consistently. And then I've also got this one down here, which is more of the southerly uh, kind of accent. The main thing that you gotta worry about with accents really is the vocabulary that you're using. With an accent comes a certain vernacular that you might have based on the region where the accent is most prevalent. So with uh... Haha, oh, you're not hitting me with that. Um, so with like a, you know, British accent you can use British slang with the southern accent you're gonna use southern slang and all that kind of stuff you know so you got to learn that kind of stuff as well if you want to have a, a proper um, you know showing of, uh, of your imitation accent kind of thing right it's important to have that understanding of, uh, of their regional vocabulary some words are even like pronounced differently like obviously you know you're like talking like well yeah it does an accent but not like just on like a baseline level of it like what letter do they think that this letter in this word is and like just depending on the accent they might just because of how it's evolved over time you know it might have it might have gone a different way so you know some words might just be spelled the same but be pronounced way differently if you were to try and pronounce that word with the accent it wouldn't be right because they're pronouncing it like fundamentally different it's not just a, a difference with the way that the letters themselves are, are sounded out but with like what letters they choose to use to represent that word I can't think of any examples off the top of my head uh, but it's, uh, it's definitely a thing that you also got to kind of concern yourself with when you're trying to put on accents and stuff like that I used to want to be a voice actor when I was growing up well, not really growing up. Still to this day, I'd, I'd love to get a, a, a role as a as a voice actor. To me, it just sounds like fun. You know, I've always I've always been a uh, a viewer of animated media. I've always been a viewer of anime cartoons. You know, any any of that kind of stuff. I'd love to uh, to one day be on the other side of it and kind of see the creation, the the process that everything kind of goes through. Um, and there, there, there's two different kinds of voice acting as well. There is the kind of original voice acting, I guess. So when, when you watch 
you know, Looney Tunes in the original, you know, English that it was originally made in, um, those voice actors were voice acting before the scenes were made, right? Because uh, if, if you're going to be doing it all from scratch anyway, it's a lot easier to line up the animations with the voice than it is to line up the voice with the animations. Um, the, uh, the other one is stuff like subbing. So where you're taking, let's say, the uh, you know English Looney Tunes and you're turning it to, uh, you're, you're making it... Um, you're making, you're making a French dub, right? At this point, the, the content already exists. You already know what the finished product looks like. And as a, as a voice actor, you have to line up your lines with the, the, with the, um, the cadence on screen. And uh, it, it even comes down to, like, the, the writing and the translation. can't just be a translation. It, it has to be a translation that kind of takes... The cadence of the original into uh, account as well, so some words won't necessarily be exactly what they are, and that's just so that um, when the voice actor goes over it and, and you know says their lines, they have uh, as good a chance as they you know possibly could to align what they're saying with the character's lips and make it seem like it was you know as close to the original kind of stuff as you could. Um, so that's the that's the two kind of like primary kinds of uh, voice acting. No time for a bevy. For sure. It's over here, isn't it? I thought we were at the last round. Oh my god, <laughs> we already have a Glock, dude. What the heck? Uh, cool. Cool beans, dude. Cool beans. All right. So anyone have to be a voice actor? I don't know what I'd like. B voice acting. I haven't actually like put out any uh, any you know applications. I haven't applied anywhere, or sent out to any. Oh, yeah. I, can't, I can't remember what the word is. I haven't applied for any roles. I guess I haven't even tried looking for roles. I think the main reason for that is that uh, you know, as a trans individual, I'm not, I'm not sure if I'd want my lasting voice in a cartoon to be a voice that I'm not totally happy with but then at the other side I think that uh, working in my voice and getting it to a point where I'm happy femininely kind of gives me advantage over other voice actors that are at least a wider repertoire of possible voices which is good if I'm willing to be comfortable with it and I, I guess like 500 episodes of Killing Floor 2 and like a thousand episodes or something stupid like 800 900 I don't remember how many videos I have up at this point it's like a stupid amount of them, though. I guess I guess at that point I kind of committed, right? <laughs> and I'm probably not going to be in enough uh, cartoons, anime, or anything like that. I'm probably not going to be in enough, you know, games. Just just content lines of speaking. There probably won't even be anywhere near close to as many as uh, as there will be on my YouTube channels. Just by because uh, the sheer quantity. You know, I do quantity over quality, and they do quality over quantity, of course. So, but uh, that was that was my that was my dream growing up. So I always did a lot of voices. Still to this day, as I as I kind of said, still want it. I, I want one day I would love to have an a opportunity to be a voice actor in the game. I don't want to do just um, you know I know that uh, oftentimes you know celebrity YouTubers or whatever who have uh, had a big part, a big role in a specific game will play a. A role in their um, in like a sequel or you know whatever uh, that and and they, and they just like play themselves basically as like a cameo kind of thing that's not really something that I'm totally into you know if, if I ever get to the point where I'm large enough and I have enough influence to the point where you know a game developer is like hey we want to put a cameo of you in the game like you down to, to do that I'd be like Yes? Are you kidding me? Like that's incredible. Yes, uh, but that wouldn't that wouldn't fulfill my my goal of, of being a voice actor because that would be you know, me voice acting as as me basically, right? I want to voice act as somebody else. I want to pretend to be somebody I'm not and and play that role. 
and uh, you know D and D was that for for a big part, and I had a lot of fun playing with voices in uh, in D and D, uh, and that's not gonna hit. That was a terrible shot. I had a lot of fun playing with uh, voice actors in D and D, or playing with voice acting in D and D anyway, rather. Is there like a thing that's going up there? I think I've looked about it before, right? No, it's 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 what what is this shadow? And why does it why does it follow me? You go to the trader pod, not away from it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just this has always bugged me. I don't understand why this shadow moves with me. Cause this shadow right here, like you see it? I don't. I don't see what's changing here. Cause where's the sun? The sun is over there, so it would be. I think it's that maybe. I don't even know, dude. I don't even know. It doesn't matter really. Come on! Ah, oh, we almost had it. I think I think I think those were close. I think those were close. And that shadow's always bugged me. I have no idea what it is. Maybe I'm being dumb. I'm probably being dumb. But uh, it's always it's always bugged me. I'm getting right up close to you for this one, please and thank you. I'm gonna be back here for this one. And then we're gonna get right up here. You're gonna try and smack me. And then you're going down. Nice nice knowing you matriarch. How do you like being completely defeated? I have solved the Matriarch fight. Okay, the Matriarch fight, solved. It's a puzzle, not a game. It's a puzzle. And I solved it. I'm feeling generous. That put that that's uh, that's that stupid shadow always messes with me though. It's weird, dude, it's weird. Reminds me of Bill Gates sitting on a wad of paper. Somebody photoshops out the um, the pole in front of him, and he's just sitting on this like wad of paper, holding like a floppy disk or something. He's like, "All of this is contained on this floppy disk," and then people are like, "Yeah, but where's that other pole? It's up your butt, dude." But it was really just like you know, photoshopped out or whatever. Probably not really photoshopped. Well, I guess it would have been photoshopped, but just more recently. Anyway, anyway, we have a uh, dramatic user. In the rain meter Discord, a uh, he is a infamous user. I'm not going to name him, but uh, if you're present in the rain meter Discord, you know who I'm talking about just from that. Um, he is a very conservative individual, we'll say. Um, you know, he's against trans people. He's against gay people. Uh, you know, he's the kind of person who's like, you know, blue lives matter too. You know, that kind of nonsense. Uh, Something fun's coming. So every now and then, he'll come back to the server somehow. Because he's banned. He's, he's, he's banned. He's, he's, you know, he harasses people and attacks them and stuff for, for their, um, you know, who they are. He, 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 he won't let you say that you're trans without making a big deal out of it, you know? Um... So uh, he, he's banned from the server, which is uh, a good thing because he has no place in the server, uh, in my opinion. I don't mind, you know, well, okay. If, uh, if somebody's going to be anti-trans, I'm not going to ban you from the server. I don't, I'm not a mod anyway. Um, but, you know, let, let's, let's presume that it was my server and, and I'm the one who has the control over this. Um, I don't, I've, I've turned down the promotion numerous times because I don't particularly care for responsibility like uh, moderating a server with like 60,000 people in it yeah not, not really for me uh, but um, let, let, let's just for, for a moment here we're gonna assume that it that, that it is my server and I'm the one who has to control over it I have a say you know it's as, as a user but uh, ultimately I don't get to make the final decision uh, anyway so uh, assuming it's mine and I'm the one who has the cool control over it. If you're anti-trans, if you're, you know, anti-gay, if 
you're anti-black people, if you're anti-autism, if you're anti-what the hell ever. You know, you're not gonna get banned for that, all right? You're not, you're not gonna get, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't, I don't feel the need to ban you for something. But once you, once you start taking these controversial things, which are, for the record, in my opinion, objectively, you know, douchey, um, once, once you start taking them and then start to play on them and, and attack people for, for your beliefs, which are, again, in my opinion, objectively douchey, uh, that's when, personally, I think that you just, you don't have a place. Oh my dear lord. Oh my god. <laughs> um... <laughs> My god, that was too many husks. That was too many husks. And I, 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 I whiffed. But that was too many husks. Anyway, so, you know, if, if you're going to be taking those opinions, anytime that you're saying, you know, somebody is, uh, is wrong for something that they don't have a choice over, I consider you a bit of a dick, personally. You know, and and the argument always comes up that will like, well, you're 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 saying that you know I'm a dick for for saying you're a dick. How is that different? Well, you know, you can choose to not be a dick. I can't choose to not be trans. Um, so that's that's kind of my stance on it. But uh, he he's definitely you know crossed that line. He's crossed that threshold of keep it to yourself and and don't start attacking other people because like I don't I don't care what your beliefs are okay we can just not be friends that's okay right like you and me we don't like each other we don't have to you know make it our life's focus to, to make sure that uh, you know we've won some battle of something or other I mean I kind of do so that I have the right to live but you know you don't really have to make it your life's battle to, to tell me that I, I shouldn't live in fact if you could stop it would be really really nice um, but that's for another story. That's for another story. The kind of bigotry and stuff that uh, that affects you on a day-to-day -day basis is uh, is another story. Uh, he he comes back every now and then and through through like just the dumbest way. So today he just came back on an alt account and was like, "Hey, it's me. You guys all suck." And then he got mad that we were like gonna ban him again or something like that. <laughs> and it's like, well, what do you expect? You're you're ban evading. Like, it's not even it's not even about any. You're just you're straight up ban evading now. That's just like actually a problem. Um, and uh, he, uh, he he's apparently made his own server now that has uh, less anime and hentai con culture and. Uh, you know, not so much gender, uh, like, things and stuff, and they're like, yeah, it's ruined because of all the hentai and the genders, and I'm like, eh, you can't really go make your own server for, for this thing, <laughs> like, even disregarding that, you know, in his opinion, he has a, a valid point, he doesn't, but he thinks he has a valid point to make a server and, you know, grow up, but... You know, the whole, like, well, I'm going to go make my own thing with hookers and booze. It just, it doesn't work. There's there's a reason that Futurama made that joke. It's it's because it's something that people do, and it, 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 it never works. You just can't do that, really. You, know, you have to have some kind of a standing. There has to be some kind of actual valid, you know, widespread complaint about the current situation that you're going to be resolving in a way that is superior to the you know, current state of affairs, uh, and when you have like 60,000 people on a server, you can't really get them all to come over and, and like, exist with you, because it's just, you just, you're not gonna do that unless everybody on the server is like mad at the, the current owners, and, and they aren't, so, it just, uh, Oh, it makes it makes me laugh. It makes me laugh whenever he comes by. But people always, yeah. The other thing is, is, is people will often, um, you know, everybody in the server really, 
not really everybody, but a lot of people in the server, because there's like 60,000 people. A lot of them agree with him, but uh, not the majority, because, you know, self-selecting and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, um, you know, the, the, the server is largely a fairly uh, LGBT-friendly area, just because of, it is. I don't know why, but, like, the server has a lot of gay people on it. <laughs> it's not a gay place to be, but it is a very, um... The number of LGBT identifying individuals on the server is disproportionately high compared to the number of LGBT individuals just kind of in a unbiased sample, you know? Let's put it that way. Uh, so it's it's largely a very supportive in, uh, community, which is good, um, but, you know, people will... Uh, He'll, he'll come in, and it's, it's like every few months, something, some, some kind of stupid drama happens. And in my opinion, I'm just like, I don't, I don't care. He, he's banned from the server. If he, if he makes, I did it. I always get mad at the autofill for doing it, but I did it. Um, you know, if he, if he, if he comes in and makes an alt account or something, or he tries to evade the ban, you just reban him, and we just carry on with our lives. Like it doesn't really have to be a whole thing, because it's been like. Eight or nine hours, and people are still talking about it, and, and like they're still talking about what he's doing, and still making fun of him for his, you know, beliefs, and still poking fun at him, and still, I'm sure there are still people who are joining a server and then like trying to, you know, purposefully, you know, take him off or whatever. And I'm like, you know, I believe that this person is about one of the worst individuals on the planet, but. You know, it, it just, whenever you're going to be intentionally trying to annoy somebody, even if they're not a good person, to me, it just kind of makes you also not a good person. Who is this mysterious marksman? You know? Because I, I just, you know, it, people always say, you know, be the bigger, be the bigger person, be the bigger, you know, be the bigger person. People always get, uh, and people also get mad because they're like, why do I have to be the bigger person? Because you are. You know, because you don't get the right to, to be mad at somebody if you're not better than them. Because everything always has two sides of a story, right? To, from from my perspective, this individual who, who constantly causes the drama and is uh, just generally a, a pretty terrible person, uh, is, is you know, that's, that's, that's how I feel about him. And, and that's how definitely the majority feel about him. But from his perspective... We're, we're the evil people, you know? There's always two sides to the coin. So, you're, you're, by, by doing the same stuff, but like opposite, you're just making them feel the same way that they made you feel. And that's not, you might, pe people are like, well, that's good, you know? I want them to feel bad because I don't like them. But the thing is, is you're going to make them feel marginalized. You're going to make them feel like they're... You're, you're gonna justify their actions, which is like a problem. So I always, I always say, you know, in some cases you can't really just ignore a person because they're gonna continue harassing you. But generally speaking, with with people who are, you know, with problem people, people who are causing problems, generally speaking, in my opinion, anyway, the right answer is just to ignore them. It's just to ignore them. They'll, they'll go find their place where they can talk, you know? Like, I have I have people blocked in the Discord who I don't like, and I just ignore them, you know? Rock and roll. I just I don't, I don't like them, so I block them. I don't need to, to make a big stink out of it. I don't have to start, you know, calling them out on it and being like, I have you blocked. <laughs> you know, like, I don't like them. I block them. Now they're not a part of my life. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to, you know, give them that free real estate, you know, that free room to, to stay in in my brain. I just, uh, I mean, I'm talking about them now, but that's that's kind of different. I, I get to justify my uh, my ramblings because I have to ramble about something. Uh, and this is the current happenings. But just to me, I, even if they're a bad person, just be nice to them. You know, and to, and to a certain extent, I consider banning somebody to be nice if they're breaking the rules. 
You know? Like, if, if somebody's breaking the rules, then banning them is the nice thing. Not banning them and making fun of them is the mean thing. Um, and you can't just not ban them and then, like, be nice to them because, like, they've broken the rules. They, they need to be banned, but... Um, it's just, uh... Just be nice. <laughs> just be nice. That's kind of my, my philosophy on it. It's just, just be nice. It's better for everybody, because I don't really care about... I mean, most people... A lot of... Okay, I'll, I'll put it this way. Most people probably think he's a bit of a dick. Most people probably also don't really care about going on about how much of a dick he is for eight hours. <laughs> you know? Like, to most people, it's probably like, uh, wow, he's doing this again? Really? And then, like, you know, they've 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 moved on. You know, it's it's on to the the next you know event. It's on to the next happening, whatever, whatever comes next after after this. But uh, by by just dragging it on and and just making su such a big deal out of it, I just I just feel like I feel like there's no competition going on, so there is no chance to to you know nobody's winning or losing here. But I feel like somehow we're still losing. You know. I feel like we're intentionally making it a competition and then losing. You know, M turning it into a turning it into a fight where none needed to be, and then not being good at it is is basically how it feels like to me. It's just throwing it away when when it, when there was nothing even to throw. You made something just to toss it away. <laughs> is is how it feels to me. Like look at this stupid shadow. What is happening? What is it? I have no idea. Ooh, we got launched. Uh, it just—it just—it feels bad. You know. Um, whatever. We'll we'll take the AF 2011s. It's okay. It just feels bad, dude. I used to, you know, I used to, when I was younger. When I was younger, I uh, I was definitely a um. I was definitely in the party of like make fun of them and, and who cares? I don't care, but I don't know. I've kind of grown up, I guess. And uh, to me, it just oh, you're, you're hitting me, aren't you? To me, it just kind of doesn't feel productive to to give people like that the time of day. Oh, we want to get up close for this one. It doesn't feel productive. It doesn't feel like the right thing that uh, that we should be doing as as individuals who are, you know. If ever you're making fun of somebody, you you're clearly feeling like you're above them. But in my opinion, if if you're making fun of them, you're not really above them. Like if, if you're poking fun at them and, and doing all this kind of stuff, I don't I don't feel like it's it's I don't know. Money, anyone? To me, I I just I feel better when when i just ignore it you know like i feel like just it, 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 it annoys me to think about him why am i gonna think about him you know like just i just i don't i don't get the the mental like mental sort of like leaps that people have to make to, to hate somebody so much that you have to constantly think about them anytime they they pop up like is it's, it's isn't it better to just ignore them doesn't that just make you feel better? I don't know. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time.